What's up guys, it is the Radman, and welcome to this random computer video, and I have no idea what it's going to be about, because it is a pre-recorded message, so I hope you guys enjoy no matter what kind of video it is. What's up guys, and welcome to my unboxing and overview of the Beats by Dre Studios. So, I've had these headphones for a while, but I still happen to have everything with it, basically. And these are the silver ones, not the white, because, um, like when you actually see the case, if you look at the white ones, you could really easily accidentally see them as the silver ones, but when you see the silver ones, you know they're silver. So taking a look around the box, you could see that's really big hand box. On this side, it gives you some, um, shows you some of the features about the um, control that comes with it which I will show you in a minute on the back it just shows you like just some extra components not really anything closer look at that picture not really here's a picture of what the they look like kinda and then it says like people aren't hearing music blah 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 Dr. Dre but that's that, and on the, the whole box, at least on the silver edition, it's red, because I believe on my white ones it was black, but who knows, I'm not sure. You want to make sure you slide it off that way, otherwise you'll have a lot of trouble trying to, like, grab it and then pull it off. It's really difficult, but doing it that way it's easy. You can see right here, it's a magnetic clip. See? Okay. Now you saw. Oh, one more thing. You could see right there. Reflection. B. And that, if you don't know, for some reason, that's the symbol it is. And then, this is what the... And I'll show you one part of each. And my knife just fell off before. So, you know, I believe this would normally be covered in plastic. But this is what you'd see in the big part of the box, which are the headphones and the case. You can see. And then underneath there's nothing. I will move this off the side. And these are the all the accessories you get in the box itself. Now there's one thing that's not in there, which is one of the cables. But I will show you that. Well, uh, right now. So, I will go over the cables first. This is the one with the control, right there. Now you could like play and pause, um, take calls and calls, turn up volume, turn down volume, pretty much just that. That's what it's for. And next is the, the um, straight connector. One thing I would be very careful of is bending this too hard like that because I would just put some electrical tape or something in it like right as you get it because I have a pair and these are my replacements and I didn't replace them because of this but right here it will rip off the red rubber will just rip off from the black and you, there's exposed cables so that's why one of the nice reasons not really reasons but that's one of the nice things that they give you two um, cables for and the whole thing is rubberized all the way down. It's a decent length cable. It's like enough if you have it. If you're even really tall, down to your pocket, still decent. This side isn't as susceptible to ripping because it's in your pocket a lot, so it's not like bending in certain ways sometimes. But it just doesn't seem to bend a lot more. Um, but it's just a straight 90 degree angle. So it's preferred if you put your iPhone or iPod. So the connection is face down in your pocket, but I don't really know who does that because it seems like it's too much work to flip it around. But there are probably people who do that. And both of them come with this little piece right here. It's just a Velcro strap that holds it together. This is the exact same thing, except it does not have that connection or whatever it would be, like right here. It does not have that extra um, controller, but... If you don't need it, then don't use it. Here is a cord wrench adapter, so it just screws in, and you could use it in like a high-powered amp or something like that, or high-quality 
audio card, and I tried using these on my um, Sound Blaster X X5 Sound Blaster or however you put Sound Blaster X5. Yes, that's it. Titanium HD, and it was really weird because the audio was good, but the vocals it was either fine, but in my, most cases it would like become super super quiet. And I just did a review on my Bose IE2 earbuds. That's what I'm using. Otherwise, I would use my Beats, but eh, they're more for style and for travel rather than like home monitor headphones. Here you get two Duracell batteries that come with it. Just double A's. These take no triple A's. These take two triple A's and they last for a long time, depending on how much music you listen to. Here's just like your guide and like your um things that you'll like. Some chick that doesn't look healthy with the pros on because you can see at the um cups angle like that. There's like nothing really in here that you need if you know how to um use them use basic headphones right here is a basic little like super soft velvet like clean cloth has b Ooh. and that is actually all that comes in the case so as you can see it just this is velcro and it easily closes all the way back up Let's see and I'm going to get you a look at the headphones themselves so the um case it's not really designed for protection like if it like not like dropping but like if something hits or something then it'll be kind of protected here's an imprinted B on it it has a just one of these things like what people use for climbing or something like that and it feels like it just like jumps over like when you get halfway it just jumps all the way open but if you push it really slow you can hear the click but that you can remove if you want you can see it just slides like that and then on the bottom it's um let's see Right here it starts, it's just the hinge and then a zipper with a red B on it. And then you'll see it when you open it, but the zipper is actually red. Which is just a nice little touch, it looks pretty cool. So here's the headphones themselves. And you can see that the whole zipper is red. All the way around. It does look cool. Here you can see the B again, backwards. And here, one thing I would have liked to have seen is this piece, like, be stitched or something into the actual case. But what it does is you could just put, like, your iPod or something there so you could have it all in one. But I really would have liked to have seen it sewn in or something because it, it falls out a lot and gets loose. So it's not very practical in that area. So here are the headphones themselves. Themselves. I'm not themselves out with themselves you could see that they fold up like this and when you open them they click and note that these were already slid out they're not like that normally and they can flex out but you don't want to do it too much Let's see if I could get better you could see that if you have like a really big head like that then they will work but I don't recommend doing it too much because that's what happened to my old headphones. It had a crack that went all the way right through here. Because the plastic, these are designed for style, not really quality. Let's see if you can see it. But um like the plastic, it's pretty cheap. That's one my one of my major complaints. Under there you go. Beats by Dr. Dre. Just a little Im, um imprint right there. These parts right here that they glide on, those are metal. And let's see. You could see that they go like this. And then they also, I'm not sure how I'd show this. They pretty much move in every direction. Not too much forward is like this way. 
but then again, hopefully your head isn't too awkwardly shaped. You'll have to go that way. On the um, side here, it's silver and like it's normal like this color and then it gets brighter like with the streaks and then it gets really dark on the inside. Here, if we can get the reflection right. See that? It says studio. It says it on both sides. It's really hard because it's the same color-ish, almost. And on the inside, that says L, and well, that says R, so left and right. And the connection for the for just the cable is on the left side, but th on the left side. But the one problem is that it's really like tight, especially on these headphones for some reason. So when you get it in, it's going to be really hard to pull out without like screwing something up. I was lucky I was able to pull it out, but um, it's just, it's not made to be pulling out and pushed in a lot. So here's the switch you turn on because these are battery powered, which I'll show you in a minute. So you can see when you push it over, it turns red if there's batteries that have power in them. And I think they actually turn like yellow or something when they're low battery. So it's a little warning. And also it gets really annoying because you hear this all these pops. These really loud pops, but yeah. Because that just means you have low battery. Now here's the exact same thing but without the switch, but you can see that and that. They're just two little things. You put your fingers on them and then push in and twist. And then you could take this cover off. And it allows you to put two AAA batteries in here. Nothing special. These are just rechargeable ones. That's why they're green because I rather use rechargeable batteries. And then to put it back on, you just match these tabs up with that, with those so it's facing up. Set it down, it will kind of go in. And then you you'll feel it turn a little bit and then you can like pull right here and nothing will come out or move or anything. Now on the actual it also is pretty flexible. I was, again I wouldn't bend it too much going this way because it's not very high quality plastic. Maybe if I go like aha. Let's see. So the ear cushions are very soft. They sink in a lot. But um the they're a little too small. Like they're a little bit of an awkward shape for my eyes. I mean eyes, ears. So they don't really form perfectly to my ears. But then again, you can't they don't work out for everyone. Now for the actual sound quality. They're alright. That's except the one the most annoying thing about them is that they hiss when you turn them on. So that's the most obnoxious thing ever until you start listening to music because it's it's nice to know that they're on, but it, it all you hear is this hiss like some cobra or something. But they're worth it if you get them at a good price. Like for me, I got them like nearly half off from someone, but I don't want to go into any details or anything about that. Not drugs or anything. Nothing bad. But um, they're good if you get them at a good price. The sound quality is okay, but it could be a lot better for the um, actual price that you buy them for. So if you get them at a good price and buy them, otherwise go for something like if you want high quality audio, go for like high fi mins and get a nice amp or if you want to go monitor or something. But oh yeah, these are also very um bat bassy. So it's like very boomy. If you know any sound signatures, they're boomy. So that way there's a lot of bass if you like a lot of bass. Like me, I like bass but not too much. These are a little too much, but um it's alright because I do like having them like, I, I like feeling the sound you can see in my ears. Having them like vibrate a little, it feels really cool to me. But yeah, and one other little thing I forgot to show is that on the inside, these little bands, 
They're also plastic though, but they say beeps. Get that angle there. And then same on the other side. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about these. I would give the audio like a, a 6 for the price to build quality 5. They're not re like, they're not really good for the price. They're for style. They're for bringing around with you so people think you're cool. But then again, I'm not like the, oh, look at these awesome headphones. They're so amazing. You don't want to be doing like that because when you come up against someone who actually knows a little bit about audio, you're going to just get smashed down to the ground. So, I hope you liked this video. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help me um, be able to make more videos for you like this. And I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.